I'm Dominique Roland, Head of Policy, Innovation and Knowledge Department, and I'm going to present to you what we do in terms of innovation at EASA, how do we prepare to innovation at EASA. So this slide is showing you uh, a number of uh, nice uh, aircraft, some real, some are just uh, drawings. Uh, on the real side, you can see the, the, the Pipistrel Velis on, on, on the left-hand side of, of, the, of the slide. It is the first uh, aircraft, electrical aircraft, certified in the world. We were the, the first to, to certify an electrical aircraft. And we see other aircraft that are not yet certified, but could come soon, and, and which will be part of uh, our portfolio for certification. So we talk about electrical, uh, hybrid, distributed propulsion, some very fancy uh, geometry, as you can see in the, in the middle, or um, associated to the hybrid or electrical propulsion, uh, new concept uh, in terms of flight controls, new concept in terms of uh, uh, navigation system and, and communication. So a lot of innovative product and of course the screen would be too small to show them all. On top of this uh, rather conventional aircraft, we have also the, the, the drone, the unmanned aircraft system. So here it's another challenge. Uh, we are investing massively to, to produce a new uh, requirement, regulation, uh, for, for this uh, new drone market at the level of the initial airworthiness, but at the level of the operation and more. So it, it, it's, a, it's a big challenge for us and, and we are progressing uh, well and we are one of the leading authorities in this domain. And as you can see, uh, these drones could go from a very small 250 gram machine to a several ton uh, aircraft uh, carrying load uh, outside or sometimes inside the city, so with different risk levels. So it's a very, very complex uh, topic. So I already mentioned some of them, but here we, we see a, a list of, uh, of, of issues that we have to, to consider and, and we need to prepare ourselves to, to manage them, electrical and hybrid propulsion, artificial intelligence, advanced automation, urban mobility, I mentioned it, drones in general, hydrogen, hydrogen propulsion with uh, fuel cell or, 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 or directly feeding engine, dual use civil military, opt-in for state aircraft or police aircraft, cyber security, reduced crew operation, supersonic aircraft, health, digitalization, digital certification. So, as you can see there, it's, it's a long list of topics and each topic will require a, a, a lot of effort, a lot of work to adapt uh, our system, our framework to these new uh, challenges. So the challenges, uh, product certification, of course, but it's not the most uh, difficult here. We, we can use and we know how to do it. We did it already. I was talking about the pipistrel, but we have other project where we could build up a specific requirement uh, with special condition. But we, um, this uh, project will also impact uh, the OPS regulation, the FCL, the EASA Part M, uh, the aerodrome regulation, the airspace regulation, and all that need to be ready in a timely manner because there is no possibility that we we certify an airplane just to discover that we cannot op operate the airplane because the OPS, for example, the OPS regulations are not up to date. So internally, we, 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 we have changed recently our organization. We had before a EASA research committee and we had an innovation cell and we decided to merge them together. Uh, and by so, we created the, the RIC, the Research and Innovation Committee. It is shared by Luc Tidgat, who is our SM director. And the certification directorate is represented in this uh, RIC by David Solar. Uh, and for the technical line, represented by Alain Leroy, our chief engineer. So, um, we have new cross-directorates programs for drone, environmental strategy, 
uh, artificial intelligence. Uh, the, the purpose of these roadmaps are to create a, a transversal link between our different activities for a given subject. We talk about drone and we will talk uh, with ops people, with uh, FCL people, with uh, initial continued awareness people, airport, uh, airspace people. So we create this transversal uh, connection. We are also participating to research projects. Uh, we have many, I'm just uh, quoting uh, uh, small numbers here, like MAEPA, cabin air quality, fire risk, helicopter, underwater escape, machine learning application, and so on. We have plenty. And our experts, experts from city, are called to participate to this research project so that we stay up to date. And of course, we try also to support the industry well before the certification phase with processes like TAC, Technical Advisory Contract, and IPC, Innovation Partnership Contract. And of course, during a certification project on innovative project, pro product, we, we also support the industry uh, as much as we can to go through this uh, uh, specific uh, process. And in parallel, we have to develop our policy regulatory material to enable certification. So for example, the special condition on eVTOL and, and others. In parallel, we, we, we try to, to optimize and to improve uh, our organization. So we have a, a big project at EASA that we call Destination Future Proof. And, 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 and there is a, what they call a wave, which is impacting uh, certification. And in this context, we use uh, DFP, Destination Future Proof, to uh, adapt our certification process and to take into account the need of, of innovation. And so uh, there is, uh, we have prepared an action plan. And, and, and through this action plan, we try to take on board the recommendation from the stakeholders to, 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 to improve, to optimize our certification process uh, and, 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 and make it more suitable for, 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 for the future certification uh, project. So, in this context, uh, one of the key elements is on top of what I mentioned before uh, with the TAC and the IPC, we will propose, we want to propose a pre-application project uh, concept in order to identify cross-domain what are the requirements and regulations questioned by the innovative aspect of the project. So again, the transversal aspect to be sure that we are all progressing, moving together to allow uh, the starting of the operation of the new aircraft uh, in due time. Problems, including operational aspects, should be identified and way forward agreed uh, before application, before the official certification uh, application. And in order to, 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 to support and help uh, the preparation of the certification program and the identification of the certification basis. So, <clears throat> as a takeaway, EASA is actually reviewing all its processes in order to adapt to the challenges created by innovation. Innovation is not only impacting the CERT process, but also continuing awareness and all related operational domains. And the impact of the transition for all stakeholders, authorities, industry, during the next 10 years will be significant and will certainly impose a change of mindset for everybody. Thank you.